Hello, and welcome back to the TAPD demo series. I'm Hannah with Lightning Labs, and this is a series of short demo videos walking through using Taproot Assets, the Taproot Assets daemon, TAPD, from install to mint to send to burn, right? The full process. And at this point in the series, we've already done a whole bunch of installation, and now we're going to work with universes here in this particular video. So if you're not already familiar with the concept of a universe, then I'll direct you back to the docs, docs.lightning.engineering, or you can check out some of the protocol level tutorial videos that we have on the YouTube video, because of course, this particular series of videos is just about actually using this software, not so much about the protocol itself. But very, very briefly, um, what is a universe? It's just a data store, right? So there's a number of different um, analogies that you can use here. You can think of it a bit like a library that stores, you know, books, right, data on taproot assets and proofs. You could think of it a bit like a block explorer or perhaps even think of it a bit like a GitHub repo, right? But it's just a data store, right? So when you start up a TAPD node, when you install one, it comes with its own data store, right? Its own universe. Um, and then all, you know, all the other nodes, TAPD nodes out there have the same, right? And sometimes you'll want to connect to another TAPD node and share some uh, asset data with that node. And we call that adding a universe to your federation, right? So when you specifically say, hey, that node over there, I want to connect to its universe and I want some data with it. I want to share some data with it then that's adding a universe to your federation. So important that we get that terminology down because we'll be um, you know, using that a lot here on our CLI commands, et cetera. All right, cool. So let's see where to start. Um, I am on a testnet node here, which is running Bitcoin D, LND, and then taproot assets on top of that. Let's start with our first command. Just a CLI command here. We're doing tap CLI, which is the taproot assets command line interface. Uh, we're using the universes here. We're talking about universes and we're looking at federations and we're currently saying, hey, taproot assets, uh, how many universes do I have in my federation? How many universes am I currently sharing data with? And right now you can see we just have one. This is the default universe that your um, tapd node would connect to when you first start it up. But if you want to, right, because universes connecting to other universes is always optional, or you can add and delete them as you please. But in many cases, you would want to add a universe. Perhaps you want to um, do an exchange, right? Do a transfer of assets um, with uh, the user of a particular uh, node, right? And so you might want to um, get pull some data on those assets that you're looking to receive from that um, node or vice versa, right? Lots of different things we want to do there. So let's look at how we can add a universe to our federation. So this is a command that we could use here. Tap CLI universe federation add, and then we have to give it the particular location, right? We want to add this particular universe here. Uh, Leo at Lightning Labs runs this testnet universe, so we're using that to demonstrate that. And when I run this command, this should add Leo's testnet universe to our federation. And once you add a universe to a federation, you can then run this list command, and it should pop up. And sure enough, there we can see we now have two different universes. The second is the one that we just added. Now, once you add a universe, it, it'll start pulling in some data from that. Um, but sometimes you'll want to you know, really specify, I want to pull the latest information from this particular universe. And this is what that command would look like. Tap CLI universe sync, right? I really want to sync with this particular universe. And again, we have to tell it exactly where that is. And here we're just showing Leo's universe for demonstration. Cool. So we won't run that right now. We'll just do one more fun one. We're going to do tap CLI universe roots. And what this is going to do is this doesn't list the assets that we've minted or we've owned. This just lists, lists the assets that our universe is aware of. So now that we've connected to these two other universes, we're pulling in a bunch of data and saying, you know, we're pulling in a bunch of data from them about assets that exist, right? And then we're just going to list them and we're going to run this and it might take a sec because we're going to see a lot of different stuff. 
Wow, that pulled in a ton of stuff. So this is really just the, the summary of, you know, the assets and all the various proofs and stuff that your universe is now aware of that it pulled in from other universes. And we can just take a quick look at some of this data. This one has a group key. So maybe they're issuing very uh, different rounds of this asset. Here's sort of the... Uh, the amount, the sum that we have, and here's the asset ID, et cetera. It's a ton of stuff, um, but it's fun to go have a look at what's out there. All right, so we'll do one more CLI command here because again, I mentioned you can add and remove universes from your federation as you please, All right? So here we have tap CLI universe federation delete. So we're now removing uh, Leo's universe from our federation. We'll do that. And then if we go back to this list command, we can see that, hey, it's gone. Cool. All right. So now that we've played with the CLI a bit, let's move along to doing, you know, working with universes, this time via the API. Um, I want to note one thing here about my setup, which might be handy for you when testing, is I'm going to look at um, my config file. Oh, oops, sorry, I pushed the wrong button there. There we go. Um, I changed this line here, rest listen to allow all incoming connections, just to make it easy for me to connect from my local machine to this demo tap D node. Very important to note here that I am demonstrating um, various different API calls and various different um, ways to format um, format API calls and various different CLI commands. This particular video does not cover security best practices for whatever your production application may be. So just important to note that here. I have done this for convenience for this demo, which if you're, you know, practicing or testing might be fine for you to do too. Okay, cool. So let's go and look at the API docs. If you're using um, the Taproot Assets API, you'll be very, very familiar with this particular website, right? Lightning.engineering slash API dash docs slash API slash Taproot dash assets, right? And here we get all the information on all the various API calls we can make. Here's one we're going to do now, which is add a federation server. Um, this, uh, again, all this is available is uh, gRPC or is REST, right? So all this stuff we can do via gRPC or REST, or again, via the command line. And then down here, we have a ton of examples, which is really awesome, really helpful. Um, what we're demoing here today is uh, REST and Python. And here, um, when I make these demo scripts, I generally just uh, add them to my repo here. So if you want to just try some of this out, it might be quickest and easiest to just pull down this um, and practice with that. But I've mostly copy and pasted from these docs. So this is the place to be. All right, let's come back over here and we are going to um, add a universe. So let's have a look at this Python script, which makes use of the REST API. Important to note here how I'm connecting to this node, right? I need to give it the REST host. I need to give it some sort of permissions, right? And say, hey, I'm allowed to talk to, to pull data off this node and to give this node commands, right, via the API. And I need the TLS cert um, to do that as well. Right, so here's this data. I'm using the admin macaron, which gives me full admin privileges, right, just for demo purposes here. I've got all this information in this particular file. And then when I come over here to add universe, I'm pulling in basic Python stuff, you know, the request library, et cetera. And then I'm pulling in all of my connection info here and using it down here in my script. All right. So first up, we specify what we're talking to, right? And we're gonna hit this endpoint, Universe Federation. We're um, gonna format our macaroon file and add that to our headers, right, to give us permission. And we're going to uh, add here some data about which particular universe we wanna add to our federation. In this case, once again, we're just showing Leo's testnet universe. Here's where we add this all to the data variable, and then this all goes into this post request that we're making here. And then we have just basic 
Python error stuff, error handling stuff. Cool. So once it, we're going to use uh, run this script, and this should once again connect us to Leo's universe. So we've once again connected to Leo's universe, this time via the API. So now when we run rerun re this CLI command, we should see Leo's universe. And ta-da, there it is. All right, cool. So that works. Let's just do one more fun one via the API. And this time we're just going to hit this endpoint, universe stats, and we're just going to pull in data about uh, our universe, right? What it's currently aware of. So all the usual stuff, Python libraries, connection data, this time we're just hitting this endpoint, we're sending in our permission file, our macaroon file, and this time we're making a get request, and then we're doing our usual error, hand error handling stuff. So let's run this, and there we go. Um, this at this moment in time, while I'm recording this, my demo uh, testnet node is aware, right? Its universe has pulled in data from some other universes and is currently aware of these assets, right? So it is aware of 303 assets in 26 different groups. It hasn't done any official syncs yet, and it has close to 5,000 proofs. Cool. So it knows about quite a lot of things. All right, cool. So what we've done in this video is just walk through how to work with universes, both via the CLI and a little bit via the API. As always, for more information, head over to box.lightning.engineering. And if you're working with the API, you'll definitely want to hang out uh, in the API docs. See you next time.